Hi, meteorologist Chris Haddings here once again. Continue our countdown of the top 12 weather events in western and central Wyoming for 2014. We'll start by recapping the uh, number 12 to number 8 that we went through last week. And number 12 is the high wind around Clark and Cody during late November. Number 11, the Willow Creek severe thunderstorm on the August 5th. Number 10 was the long-lived snow and windstorm from January 11th through the 14th. Number 9, the thunderstorms and flooding on June 26th and 27th. And number 8 was a snowstorm from March 28th through, I should say, February 28th through March 1st. And now we move on to number 7. This one probably generated more phone calls in a one-hour period than any other event we had this year. And I'm talking about the Casper Martin tornado that occurred back in May. Got lots of good pictures of this tornado from Facebook. You see a couple of them right here. However, the one I like the best, and most people in the office like the best, came here from Light Alive Photography, probably the final of its most mature stage moving across the mountain. Now, one of the questions people had about this event was, well, there was no warning on it. Why wasn't there a warning? We'll start with displaying that by taking a look at a couple of radar pictures. We'll start by taking a look at a classic supercell tornado signature. You can see right here, you can see the reds and the greens right up against each other. That means the winds are moving in opposite directions. Indication of rotation and a very tight rotation, which is indication of a, either a tornado or a rapidly spinning thunderstorm that could drop a tornado. That's very, very obvious there. However, in this landspout tornado near Casper, can't see anything of the sort there. And the reasons why are basically twofold. One, this occurred a long way away from the radar, about 120 miles out. And with the curvature of the Earth, the lowest volume scan there is about 8, 10,000 feet, so we can't see the lowest part of the atmosphere. And also, since these things spin up very quickly and fade very quickly, it could have occurred in between scans where you don't see anything. But that also emphasizes a very, very important point. If it wasn't for everybody out there, mainly the spotters and also emergency managers and the public, we wouldn't have known about this, so it's very, very critical. So we thank you for letting us know about this. And we can always use more spotters for things like this. So if you want to become a spotter, make sure you see our schedule of spotter training classes. They'll be posted early next year. And again, this is number seven, the Casper Mountain Tornado. Stay tuned tomorrow, and we'll have number six for you. Thanks for watching.